In order to understand the distribution of the intercostal arteries, let's draw a transverse section of the thorax. This is the body of the vertebra. It is a heart-shaped body. It has a rounded spinal canal. And um, this is the transverse process with a costal facet. Spinous process, which is elongated and tapered. Another costal facet here on the transverse process. And uh, these are the superior articular processes. So this is at the level of T5 vertebra. Anteriorly is the sternum. And this should be the section in the body of the sternum. Because since we are at the level of T5 vertebra, uh, then the body of the sternum starts at the level of lower border of T4 at the manoborio-sternal joint. So this is the body of the sternum. On either side of the sternum, there is an internal thoracic artery. And the internal thoracic artery give rise in each intercostal space here to anterior intercostal arteries. Actually, there are two anterior intercostal arteries in each intercostal space. And these are short and small branches. Posteriorly located is the descending thoracic aorta. And as you can see here, it causes a little bit flattening of the left side of the anterior aspect of the body of the vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae of the middle of the series. It's not a midline structure. It is a little bit deviated to the left. And it gives rise to posterior intercostal arteries. These posterior intercostal arteries are a, form a single artery in each intercostal space and they are long, large, and anastomose anteriorly with the anterior uh, intercostal arteries. Since the aorta is a little bit deviated to the left, then the right posterior intercostal arteries are a little bit longer than the left because they have to cross the midline to go to the right side. They pass around the thoracic wall and again anteriorly they anastomose with the anterior intercostal uh, arteries. The fact that the anterior intercostal arteries are branches of the internal thoracic artery is true for intercostal spaces from 1 to 6 intercostal space. And the fact that the posterior intercostal arteries are branches of the uh, descending thoracic aorta is also true in intercostal spaces from 3 to 11 intercostal space. Of course, we have only 11 intercostal spaces um, because we have 12 pairs of ribs and the intercostal spaces are located in between the ribs. So having 12 ribs means that the spaces between them are 11 spaces. The space that is located below the 12th rib is not intercostal space but is the subcostal space. To complete the picture, we have to find the origin of the anterior intercostal arteries below the 6th intercostal space and the posterior intercostal arteries above the 3rd intercostal space. Let's deal first with the anterior intercostal arteries. Now let's draw a simple sketch of the sternum. This is the manubrium of the sternum and then the body of the sternum and the xiphoid process. Costal cartilages are attached to the sternum. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and these are, this is the seventh costal cartilage. So they are one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. The internal thoracic artery descends behind the costal cartilages on the side of the sternum in the upper six intercostal spaces and in the sixth intercostal space it divides into two terminal branches. 
these are one of them that descends straight down into the abdomen and this is the superior epigastric artery and the other one passes along the costal margin and this is called the musculophrenic artery so this musculophrenic artery will take over the supply of the anterior intercostal arteries and the lower intercostal spaces since there is no more internal thoracic artery the internal thoracic artery terminates at the level of the sixth intercostal space so it is the musculophrenic artery that supplies the anterior intercostal arteries 7 plus now what about the posterior intercostal arteries and the remaining first and second intercostal spaces here related to the superior surface of the first rib is the subclavian artery subclavian artery has many branches one of these branches is a short trunk and this is called the costocervical trunk it is directed posteriorly it is short and wide and immediately divides into an ascending branch that goes into the neck it's called the deep cervical hence the name cervical of the costocervical and the second branch goes down into the thorax and this branch is called the superior intercostal artery so the costocervical trunk has a cervical branch and a costal branch costocervical the costal branch is the superior intercostal artery and this superior intercostal artery is responsible for the supply of the posterior intercostal arteries of the first and second intercostal spaces and from intercostal space 3 to 11 the posterior intercostal arteries are branches of the descending thoracic aorta